Alright guys, welcome back to a brand new PDCGO video. Today guys, we're taking a look at a Dark Greninja deck. Greninja GX is always a fascinating card. It's found its ways into a lot of combos recently. But we're going to be looking at a dark version of the deck using dark attackers like Hoopa and Yveltal's baby Yveltal. Yveltal GX and Yveltal EX. The whole Yveltal lineup. Which is kind of crazy to think about, actually. But anyways, let's take a look at today's deck and what it's all about. So, we already know Greninja GX is a very fun card. It's very powerful. Um, it's one of the better GXs that is making an impact in Forbidden Light. So it's got the ability Shuriken Flurry. When you place Pokemon from hand to evolve it, put three damage counters on one of your opponent's Pokemon. Very powerful ability. Can soften stuff up very easily to be knocked out. And then we have Haze Slash, which for a Water and a DC does 110 damage. And then you may shuffle this Pokemon, all cards on it, back in your deck. The best part about Haze Slash is if your opponent doesn't get a one-shot on you, all that damage gets removed. So it's an insanely powerful effect. And it's a very good good thing to have like it's it makes Greninja GX not only tanky but very hard to deal with when this ability hits the board and we have Shadowy Hunter which can snipe something from 130 on the bench all around a solid card now there's been a lot of partners we've been looking at we've looked at Greninja Break we've looked at Galissapod we have even looked at Buzzwell GX and I might look at Glaceon in the future I am still interested in trying that deck out but we're going to be looking at a dark version today now dark types are kind of on the weird end right now Dark doesn't really hit much for weakness in standard, but there is one card that it does hit for weakness, and that is, of course, Dawn Wings Necrozma GX. Dawn Wings Necrozma GX. We hit for weakness because that's a good thing. Um, it's really the only thing we hit for weakness, right? Uh, like Trevenant's obviously not a, a deck in standard, so you hit you hit those Dawn Wings, and that's good. Dawn Wings is a key key part of Malnamar builds, and when you take out those Dawn Wings easily. I don't know, man. It can be it can be interesting. We have a lot of good dark type attackers that can do things to it. First off, we play two Oblivion Wings. Now, Oblivion Wings is a great card. It has 130 HP, which means stuff like Zorg GX doesn't one-shot you. Um, and also, it is resistant to fighting. In fact, one of the best parts about these Yveltals is they all have a beautiful resistance to fighting, meaning that Buzzwell GX and Buzzwell with Sledgehammer will do less damage to you, and that is one of the best parts about these cards. And this is why I like Baby of Eltal a lot, because Baby of Eltal can be a great way to put extra damage on the board with Oblivion Wing. And you have Fighting Resistance and a way to get energy back in play, so it's just an all-around solid card to play. And we also have Hoopa in here, which we obviously want to play Hoopa. Originally, I wasn't going to play this, but no, you'll see. It's actually pretty good in this deck. But yeah, we have Hoopa. Prevent all effects of attack. Good damage on this Pokemon by your points. GX, 3 is great ability. We have Super Cybul. We can make Super Cybul do more damage with Greninja damage stacking. So Hoopa's great. And the fact that your opponent sometimes can't deal with Hoopa can be a huge game changer with this deck. And we have Yveltal GX. I made a video saying this card was trash, but it might not actually be trash with Greninja. Because with two Frogadiers, you can actually knock stuff out with Doom Count. Because it has to have exactly four damage on it. Kind of sucks. Wish I knew that when I did the video. But I learned my lesson now. So two Frogadiers with Doom Count is a great combo to have. And one of the best parts about Yveltal. So that could be a very good combo. And we have Sonic Evil and Absorb Vitality. Not great, but we could always use it for Doom Count GX. We have Yveltal GX. Evil Ball is really powerful. In a format with Buzzwool, which can have like three energy on it. Even stuff like Lycanroc. And with the Greninja boosts, it's not hard for Yveltal GX sorry, to take a one shot with Evil Ball. So Yveltal EX, you know what? You're leaving the format soon. But this could be your last dance. We have one Mewtwo. I mean, I'm just going to play this because Yon Buzzle is so good. Um, even this deck is still strong against Buzzle. We got our three Frokies, three Frogadiers, and of course we got our three Greninjas. For some reason, I have a ton of Greninjas. I have three regular arts, I have a secret rare lock, and I have a full art lock. So I'm going to run every artwork today instead of just going with three normal artwork. Just play myself out. Two Laylays, of course, with Wonder Tag. Wonder, I mean, Energy Drive is also really good with Greninja with the damage output. I'm going to the items now. Two Fuel Blowers, because we are relying on abilities. One Stretcher to get our Pokemon back. We are not playing any copies of Rod. Rod could be a good replacement, too. We got three Super Scoop Ups. Super Scoop Up does allow us to do some fun things. We know that the SPE Latios Greninja deck actually does run Scoop Up, and it's a huge card in this deck, too. It can be really good. Like, after you do something like Doom Count, you know, you don't want to do it again, so you can always scoop the Velto back in your hand. You can do it with Baby of Velto. You can do it with Hoopa to make it be a little more tankier. So there's options with, uh, with Super Scoop Up. We got four Ultra Balls to be able to search for our Pokemon. Two Alter the Moons. There's not a lot of good stadiums that this deck can play, in my opinion. Like, I like Parallel City in this list, but the only problem with Parallel City is your Greninja does 90 damage. That's not a good thing, in my opinion, because it doesn't actually hit good numbers when you're only doing 190. 110 is actually a really good amount of damage to hit when you're playing against Baby Buzzwool 
and stuff like that. I'm trying to find the stadium tags, because I am going to show you guys other replacement stadiums. There's not much replacement stadiums this deck can really run. We do play Rainbow Energy, so if you want, you could play, um, what's his face? You could play Fairy Garden. You could play Reverse Valley. That is something I was also going to consider. Reverse Valley, I think, would be another really nice tech in here. Um, so if you want to run Reverse Valley, also be my guess. I think it's actually better than All Throw the Moon. But All Throw the Moon might give you free retreat. I don't know. I think Reverse Valley is better. Um, but I already stuck with it in the video, so we gotta be, we gotta run it. Right, so there you go. We got one Ace Roller to be able to retrieve our Pokemon, one Bridget to be able to put Pokemon on our bench, three Cynthia's for draw, we got three Guzmas to knock stuff out, we got three Ends for draw, and three Sycamores for draw. So that is all these draw spores and stuff like that. Now, I will say this, I actually thought I had Special Charge this deck, and I think I mentioned that in the video at least once or twice that I have a Special Charge in the deck. So just, just sit, just throwing that out there. Three choice bands for the extra 30, very important. We got two float stones for retreat. I know I have Alter the Moon, there you go. Look, Reverse Valley's better, okay? I forgot to put it in. Um, we got four DCEs, because everything in attack with DC. Three Rainbow Energies for the Greninjas, and five basic Dark Energies. And this is my Dark Greninja deck. It's actually a really fun deck to play. And is it a good Greninja variant? I mean, possibly. There's a lot this deck can do. So I'll see you guys in a minute with some matches with the deck. And yeah, let's see what this deck can get going. Alright guys, let's go find some games with our Dark Greninja deck. We'll see what we end up facing off against here on PCGO. And uh, we'll see if we can get a dub or two. And uh, we just gotta find a game. And yeah. Any day now? There we go. Alright, sweet. So we got a match. And it looks like we are up against a Fire Colorless Psychic deck. This isn't Volk. Could be, um... I might go on a limb. It could be Typhlosion. <laughs> It could be. Now, if it is a fire deck, we do obviously have a huge upper hand with Greninja. We are going to mulligan. Um, fortunately, revealing the dark energy in the deck. I was hoping that could be kept a secret. Um, but anyways, let's see what we are going to start with here. Mewtwo, Yveltal, Lele. Okay, this is a good enough hand. Um, we'll start with Yveltal, and we'll Lele for Bridget. Probably get a couple Frokies down, grab a Yveltal GX maybe, I guess. Um, okay, so he starts with a Ho-Oh, so he's playing a Ho-Oh deck. Okay, I, had, I saw no water types, though, so I don't really know. That kind of sucks. Alright, let's just check the deck. Um, alright, looks like we got Greninja. Eveltal GX, uh, EX, sorry, is actually really good here, because Evil Ball can actually do a lot of damage to Ho-Oh when it has four energies on it. That's an extra 80 damage Eveltal gets to hit for. So, I think we'll go Bridget here for... I can't grab the. Oh, that's the problem. I can't grab the Voltol EX. Bridget. So we'll probably go two Frokies and. I mean. I just. I can't really. I could go Voltol here and then maybe next turn try and scoop up this guy. Bring out Voltol. Maybe try and Doom. Him. I guess we'll grab Doom Count. Don't know how trustworthy this is. We'll see what happens. I think we'll just pass for now. If we can get two Frogadiers next turn, we could knock him out with Doom Count. I, uh, unfortunately, in my last video, I'm an idiot, and I accidentally thought you needed to have, you, you had to four more damage, but no, it, it turns out you have to have exactly four, so that was a dumb mistake. My opponent will do a Kiawa, this is the one thing I was hoping wouldn't happen. So now we should probably try and knock him out with Doom Count, 100%. I do have to end him. Um, let's see, we draw, draw Rainbow Energy. So we'll, we'll scoop up. Okay, this is going to be risky though, because if we don't hit this, Eveltal is going to get smacked really hard. But, uh, I have faith today. I'm actually going to play Mewtwo down. DC can do a lot of damage to Ho-Oh. In fact, we'll put a Choice Band on it. We will end him here. This is going to be a big end. We have to be able to hit two of our Frogadiers to take a knockout. And we, we didn't. However, however, it's not quite over yet. We can always do this. We do have scoop ups, so this could still happen. We just need to hit heads on one of the scoop ups and we can knock out this ho -Oh. He will probably do Nitro Tank and build up another one, but I don't even care. Alright, scoop up. I don't want you to get tails, scoop up. This is like the last time I want you to get tails. Alright, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Alright, and he concedes. <laughs> he conceded, oh my gosh. I actually, I mean, I had a pretty bad hand there, even if I did knock him out. I only get two prizes and. Who knows what I would have gotten, but um, that's fine. I'll take that win. We'll find another match with our decks. So that was a nice match. We just completely won on the first turn. Um, Alright, so we're up against a fighting deck. If 
Fighting, I'm fine with. Again, one of the big benefits of having these Eveltals is that they don't have any... They, I mean, what am I saying? They're resistant to fighting, so fighting's not going to do as much damage to you. Um, now, Hoopa might not be useful in this matchup because my opponent is using Baby Buzzwool. Plus, he can always attack with Rockruff Diancy. So, I don't know about Hoopa. But um, we are going to start with Baby Veltal, which is good. We don't have a Turn 1 Guzma, or no, Turn 1 Guzma. Turn 1 Bridget. I keep messing stuff up. I don't have a Turn 1 Bridget, but I can do N here. And we'll see what my opponent's going to be running. Okay, it looks like a Crabominable deck, which is an interesting deck to see. Um, okay. So I'm going to play Choice Band. Actually, no. I think I just had him. I want to at least play something for my hand. I mean, I could just put Altar of the Moon down now. But once the Brooklyn Hill comes down, this is going to get thrown away. I don't mind that, though. I want to at least draw, like, increase the odds of me drawing well. Um, okay, we do find a Froakie, which is fine. No energies, which kind of sucks. But we'll just do this and pass. I'll we'll have to end my opponent next turn. We do have Scoop Up. But we'll probably just end him. We don't have much going on in this hand anyways, so we'll see what my opponent's going to be ultimately playing. He might not be playing a straight Crabominable deck. He could be running like a like a Buzzwell deck with Crabominable in it. Mean, Crabominable is interesting, and Zoark, since it is still good, I still think Crabominable is a decent card. I like Crabominable Garboder. I was going to make a video on that deck quite a while ago. I just never got around to making it. I might do that now. I mean, who knows? Zoark is still technically maybe the best deck in the format. I mean, Zoark, Lycanroc, and Zoropod are still performing very well, like... You know, Zoropod won, won a tourney in Mexico, um, and Zorak Lycanroc, I'm pretty sure, won Sheffield. So, it's still a big threat, still something to look out for. So, my opponent will just pass. Okay, we drew an Ultra Ball, and I'm probably going to play it here, get rid of Greninja and Guzma. Probably grab... Okay, Eveltal EX is prize, that sucks. We'll probably just grab Frogadier, to be honest. I don't really care about this set of Widow. It's not really doing much, so we might as well just hit the Crabrawler for 20. The more damage Crabomitable has on it, the more odds it gets knocked out. I'll do a scoop up now, just to burn it, and uh, we'll do N. Let's see if we can find anything here. Okay, we found energy. We do have an Altar of the Moon. Do I want to play it now, though? I don't want to save it. I don't know. I might even just attach Rainbow Energy to Frogadier. Try and build it up. Greninja's really good here against Crabomitable. So I don't know... Actually, yeah, I think I'm going to try and build up Frogadier. I really hope Guzma is not in my opponent's hand, along with a Crabomitable. That would really suck, and I would disrupt my play quite a bit. But doing this is like, whatever. I'm going to establish your Greninja, so I can at least get a Greninja GX trying to get into play soon. So we'll see if we can pull it off. I really hope my opponent does not have Guzma Crabomitable. I have, like, this gut feeling they have it. I, like, I have the most gut feeling in the world they have it. So hopefully we do not see a knockout. That would suck, but we'll see. We shall see what happens from my opponent. Again, not really attacking Sida Widow the matter. I mean, Sida Widow might be an issue. Watch and learn can copy some big attacks from Greninja and Eveltal. Okay, he's actually just going to go switch. So that tells me he doesn't have it. I'm fine with him hitting Eveltal. It's, again, resistant to dark. It's kind of just, I mean, Eveltal is useless in this type of situation anyways. I'll probably still attach the dark energy. I'll probably still swing with Oblivion Wing. Um, okay, so he's going to put strong energy on the other Crabrawler. My opponent will go for Cynthia here. Switch is an interesting card to see in deck still. I think there's still, like, some value out of Switch with, like, certain Pokemon, but other than that, it's still useless. My opponent is going to get rid of a Choice Band and another Baby Buzz for Crabominable. Now, he does attack me. He's going to take 20 damage, so he's going to take a lot of damage, and then we can attack him, and if he decides to knock me out, then we're fine. Unfortunately, that Diancie is allowing him to two-shot me. Which is kind of bad, but whatever. He has to take a lot of damage here. He drew a dark energy. You know what? This is a good turn to... Why didn't I Brooklyn Hill for Froakie last turn? I just realized I could have done that. Wow. Oh, my. I am, I am so sorry, guys, for that misplay. Oh, I am so sorry, guys. That was a stupid misplay on my end. Um, that, that yeah, that was really stupid. I, I apologize for not Brooklyn Hilling. That... Okay, um, that really sucks. Um, okay, so we'll put Greninja down. Um, we'll probably just hit this other Crabrawler for 30. And we're just Oblivion Wing here for 30. Making some pretty bad misplays today, guys, as you can tell. Not Brooklyn Hilling for Froakie is a little annoying on my end, but whatever. 
it is what it is. We're still not in a bad spot. It's not like if I didn't do it, I was like in trouble or anything. It's, it would have been nice to do it though. But I forgot, that's my bad. We'll see if my opponent is playing any Ace Rollas. And he is, that completely, that answers my question. All right, that's kind of annoying. Um, he's still gonna take a lot of damage here. And I can knock him out with Sonic Evil, or I can Hay Slash this thing and knock it out. Or what am I saying? Shadowy Hunter, though I probably will do Hay Slash here and take a knockout. Like he can probably just watch and learn me. But again, I can always Hay Slash myself back on the deck. I could just knock him out though with Yveltal GX. The only problem is Sonic Evil, the, this thing can still attack me and plus resistance, he can hit me for like 120. I'm not saying he can knock me out, he would need a lot of damage boosters for watch and learn to knock me out, but I don't want to do that. And wow, we just drew the DC. We'll have to end him here again. We can knock him out. Um, I guess I'm looking for Froki again. Okay, we didn't get it. Um, fine, we'll put down Yveltal. I think I'm going to hold the hand for now. Actually, no, I'm going to have to Ultra Ball away. Probably two Dark Energies. I don't know if I want to do that. But I'm going to do that because I'll probably attack with Yveltal. I'm actually going to grab Froki. Yeah, Lele's prize, so it's fine. This this kind of helps if I do tend to shuffle. Pardon me, shuffle. And now we'll just haste slash this Crabominable. And if he damages us, we can always shuffle ourselves back into the deck. See what our prize is. Got it, Yveltal. So Yveltal GX, or EX here is, is here to save the day. So we're out of ends. We, um, we're low on dark energies, but we still have, you know, Oblivion Wings. So it's not like it's the end of the world. So he's actually bringing out Baby Buzz, which is interesting because he actually can't do the extra damage with it. He can, I guess, soften me up, I guess? I, I don't know. I'm probably just going to Shadowy Hunter that Diancie, though. Or, yeah, it's either I do knock out an Asuta Wood or I take out Diancie, or I can top deck Guzma and then knock out Asuta uh, Wood with Sonic Evil. That would actually be a really fun play for me. Let's see if I can top deck Guzma. Okay, my opponent will do Sycamore. Okay, they get rid of Ace Rolla or Corio. Ace Roll is pretty good. Do you see go bye bye? There, oh, I was hoping he would not be playing Enhanced Hammer, and I'm actually surprised he got rid of the DC and not the Rainbow Energy. Okay, this kind of puts a dent in my play. Oh, wow, we actually drew Guzma. Okay, well, good turn. I will, without a doubt, knock out that Sudo Widow. Yeah, we'll probably put 20 on this Buzzwool. Um, and yeah, we'll Guzma the Sudo Widow up and we'll knock it out. We will activate Sledgehammer. We'll see what happens. Probably should put Ebel Tully X down. It's fine. We'll see what our prizes are. I'm hoping for an energy here. Lele, that works too. So we have one Guzma left. Um, we still have super scoop ups. So we can always scoop up Greninja if we need to. And that's always a good plan. So he'll bring a Corbomitable. He's going to put an energy on. So that means he's not going to be able to do more than 100 unless he plays a choice band. So he's going to do Cynthia. Okay, I'm kind of surprised he didn't just swing the Sledgehammer. I mean, if he does knock me out, that kind of sucks, but still, it would have been a decent play by him. Okay. There's a Brooklet Hill. Now I can actually play it, but I'm probably not going to because I want Evelthal X on my bench. Oh, pff. Whoa, is that three baby buzzes? Oh no, he must have super outed them. Okay, so Gutsy Hammer, thankfully, isn't two-shotting me. Um, only problem is... I'll get knocked out by Sledgehammer here. Uh, we'll put Lele down. I'm gonna have to, I could Ace Rolla actually, but I'm actually just hoping I can find my scoop ups. It's probably better to Sycamore and maybe try and get more energy in play. I think that's fine. I can always just attack him and get him, get himself knocked out. We'll see if we can find scoop up though. All right, we found a scoop up. We do find a field blower. Um, I think I'll save that though. So we're gonna do the scoop up first. Uh, we'll play another Rainbow Energy on Frog Deer. And I guess we'll just swing for 100. I could have put Float Stone on and then, you know, Oblivion Wind in 2. But we'll Sonic Evil him. I don't think he plays 3 Ace Rollers. I mean, I hope he doesn't. I highly doubt he's playing 3 Ace Rollers, so... This thing will knock itself out. And it will not knock me out unless he finds Strong Energy or a Choice Band. And I am fine with that. He'll knock himself out. So, that'll have to be the play for now. 
And then even if I hit heads on that scoop up, I probably would have brought Greninja back into my hand. And then done that. It's fine though. I really wish we could have just knocked out Crabominable, but it's fine. This is kind of a weird matchup. It's like kind of okay for us, but at the same time, if if things go wrong, which ooh, it looks like they are. And he's actually gonna take out my other Frogadier, which is I guess okay. Thankfully we can just knock him out Greninja. That does suck though. Um, we're gonna have to find a way to get them back. Probably just gonna bring out Lele and put a Flowstone on it. Let's see what we draw. We are low on supporters. Um, so we'll probably just Brooklyn Hill. Okay, there was my Pokemon deck. We do have Stretcher. We have that DCE. Okay. Um, we'll go Retreat. We will be able to knock him out here. How much HP? I got 170 HP. We'll knock him out. We break that, um, Sledgehammer effect, so... It looks like nothing's gonna be knocking me out. Do I wanna just hold this hand, or do I wanna just do Cynthia? I'm actually gonna do Cynthia. I'm looking for Stretcher here. I did kinda wanna keep that Guzma, though. Not gonna lie. Okay, we do have a Mewtwo. Um, do I wanna even use Mewtwo at this point? It's kind of useless. So he's not playing Buzzle GX. So we'll just haste slash him, knock him out, and we'll see what our prize is going to be. Choice ban. Okay, he's got one Guzma left. He hasn't played that many ends. He could always end me at some point too, so it's probably best to play as many cards as I can from my hand. Alright, there's an Ultra Ball. Could my opponent be going for a Sudo Widow counter energy play? I highly doubt he'll take a knockout. Okay, he's gonna gutsy hammer me. And we'll just shuffle Greninja back into the deck. And then bring out Baby Veltal, I guess. I still have an energy left. Fine, we can baby belt all living wing open here. Wish this thing had 130 HP though, not 140, because we could knock it out. Oh, there's an end, so I knew he had some ends up his sleeve. There's the end. He still has probably might play four, to be honest with you. Okay, we got a field blower, which is fine. We got DC back, which is good too. Alright, choice ban. I don't think he did he's not gonna knock me out this turn. I don't think there's any way. He's gonna field blower me, that's fine. I'm gonna field blower him. Hmm, he has two cards. Even though he has a Rangaroo, I am tempted maybe still to bring out you and do, like, Sonic Evil. I don't know. Might not be worth it. So we're gonna have 40 HP left. Alright, so first things first, we will do this. I don't know how many Enhanced Hammers he plays, too. I don't want to play this DC down right now. So we'll Hay Slash him, and we'll put Greninja back in the deck. And we'll bring out Baby Developthal, probably. We still have our Ace Roller, right? You can still the other views in this, so I'm fine with sticking you in the active for now. And the good thing here, he will knock himself out if he chooses to attack me. So we'll see what he goes for. He's heavily damaged, and again, I doubt he's playing three Ace Rollers. I really hope he isn't, though. He's actually going to play Strong Energy. I mean, it looks like he's just going to take a knockout. Or not a knockout. He's going to just swing me for, what, 100? Okay, that's fine. He knocks himself out. I still have one scoop up, I think, too. We'll take our prize. There's a Frogadier. That's not the Froakie, though. Do we have a scoop up? Yeah, we got one left. We can always scoop you up. I think it might be prized. I don't know if I saw it or not. Woohoo, that's a draw and a half. Now, there is something that is kind of off about this play. My opponent could always bring out Crabominable. Like, he could always knock me out with this thing, maybe? So I gotta be careful here doing this. I wish I could absorb Vitality and that would be really good. And you can see, sorry, never mind. I was gonna, I was also questioning whether to put Mewtwo on the bench, because I noticed, I forgot Crabominable's weak to Psychic, though I still don't think it would have mattered. Um, ooh, we have enough for packs. So we'll buy a pack here, and we'll see what we can pull today. Do I want to buy Forbidden Light, though? I think I do. I think I'm still grinding to get Secret Rare items. The only other pack I consider buying is, like, a Harkle Soul Silver Era pack. So open up the pack, and again, I am looking for Secret or Mysterious Treasure. Let's see. Nope. We got five locked powers. Uh, we do have Dene. A lot of people have been playing this for a counter to Alternate Cosma. I don't know how I feel about it being a good counter, but I don't know. Uh, we'll find another match with our deck, of course, and we'll see what we end up facing against this time. Will we find a game against a Malamar deck? That's the question. 
Nope. Uh, we're against Greninja, I think. No, we're against Glaceon. So, no, yeah, Greninja doesn't play colorless. So we're probably playing against Glaceon, which means we can't use Greninja GX's ability. However, we still have Frogadier, which is fine. We'll see what we end up starting with this time. We do have a Froki star. We do have Flowstone, though, so that's good. We'll see if this is, um, what's his face? Glaceon. It could be Gl Glaceon Greninja, actually. That's my best guess as to what he's playing. It is a Glaceon Greninja deck. Don't know what else he'd be running. Or maybe he's playing Megaridos. Nope, it's Glaceon Greninja. Okay. We will probably do Cynthia. No point ending him. I don't. I feel like it's fine to just do this. Okay, we do have Hoopa. We do have Yveltal. We'll probably put both down, in all honesty. I can actually attack with Hoopa here. Do I want to just stay in the active, though? I think I do, because I might want to go Oblivion Wing next turn. But at the same time, if he plays Float and I lose that, then I have the Guzma. Or maybe I could have retreated and held the energy and then done that, if he does feel bored with me. I think I have to retreat. I don't want to go into Hoopa, though. So I'm just going to go into Yveltal. Hoopa is kind of risky, because he can still put uh, Greninja damage on it to knock it out. However, Hoopa can still be a very big attacker in this matchup. My opponent with Booklet Hill, that's perfectly fine. Their deck's gonna be a little more consistent in Greninja's, though, than mine. That's the only scary thing. Okay, he's gonna get a turn on Bridget. Question, though, is he gonna find a Floatstone and a way to turn one Glacia on me? Because then I'll lose Lele's ability, and that kind of does suck, because Lele is kind of important here. Because my hand is so bad. Really tempted to, um, I don't know. I think I'll just Living Wing. I could Guzma, maybe, okay, just not get a scare pass. There's Frogadier, that's a good draw. We'll put 20 damage on to the Eevees, start powering, putting them, put damage on them. Wait, he conceded? What? This deck is so good, it's making people concede. Kappa Ross, no, I'm just kidding, it's not that good. Um, well, it is good, but it's not like the best deck in the world. I don't know what I'm even saying anymore. Um, all right, we'll find another game. We got two nice quick concedes out of the way in our first in our first few games. All right, let's see. Ooh, here we go. We're playing against Malamar. This is where things get interesting. He is playing the alternate Krosma variant, which, I mean, might be the better of the variants to play against. No, I don't know. It's kind of tough to decide which Malamar version is better. The one that plays Dawn Wings is the best one, but obviously everyone plays Dawn Wings, so it doesn't matter. Um, we do have Turma Bridget, it looks like. Um, I'm probably going to have to discard either Greninja or anything on top that, because I might have to keep the Ace Rolla. I don't know. We'll see. If Bridget's prizes, then we'll probably just yolo the hand. Okay, we just scoop up, so we'll probably get rid of Greninja and scoop up here. We'll see if Bridget's in the deck. It is? Okay, good. I don't know if I want to play Ultra of the Moon in this matchup either. It helps my opponent out, because he's playing Psychic Energy, and, you know, it benefits him. I gotta watch out for Parallel City though, that's like the only annoying thing, is Parallel can force you to discard things you don't want to lose. So we'll grab Froakie, Froakie, and probably just Hoopa. We'll, we'll test him to see if he's playing any counters. I might hold the hand. Actually, we'll attach probably to Hoopa, and we'll pass. The reason I'm gonna hold the hand, or why I was gonna hold the energy sorry, is because I could discard it next turn and then use Oblivion Wing, but I'm fine with just attaching to Hoopa. Alright, we see a Mysterious Treasure. Gonna get rid of Sec Energy. Grab me Inky. Malamar can attack me. However, it's only doing 40 damage, so it's not that big of an issue. But he can attack with Malamar. He's probably at least playing either a Mimikyu or Mew. He could be playing the other things like the other Dawn Wings, maybe the Mewtwo, Giratina. It could be, you know, there's a lot of attackers my opponent might be running here, so I do have to watch out. Would be nice to get 30 damage on this thing. However, I might need to save that to get... Uh, that might have to be Doom Counted. Alright, he's gonna get rid of more energy. So that sucks. Grab him Leyland. Okay. Let's see what he Leyland's here for. Depending if that one card in his hand is a Sycamore or an Anne or a Cynthia, he's probably gonna go Bridget. If not, he's gonna Sycamore. He's probably going Sycamore. No, Bridget. So that last card in his hand, of course, is going to be... A Sycamore. Unless he's just super confident in his top deck. Who knows? Like, he's not playing a Rangroon. He's only Psychic and Dragon. I'm assuming he's gonna Hoopa here. Or Bridget to find counters to Hoopa. Probably Inkay, Dawn Wings, and... Attacker that can hit Hoopa. That's my best guess. Nope. Thank you for putting Dawn Wings down, though. He's gonna pass. Alright. 
We'll see if we draw another Sycamore. Not good. We're going to have to lose our only Ace Rolla. So that's something to note. But we will put 20 damage on his active so that this thing can be softened up. Let's see what we draw. Shoot, we can't retreat Yvelt all that really sucks. Um, do I want to do Stretcher? No, we can save that for next turn. Okay, that kind of sucks. We'll just put DC onto Hoop and then in pass. That sucks. Next turn, I'm probably just going to Guzma knock out the Dawn Wings. I could even knock out an NK. Just because we could... I mean, the, the thing with NK is like, you can attack Malamar. So maybe I do take out NK. Or I hit the Dawn Wings and knock it out. But I, the thing with Dawn Wings, it's like always in play. So it's like, I can knock it out anytime I want. However, Hoopa and Eveltal EX are probably the only ones that can do it. Gotta remember, Eveltal GX, his attack doesn't affect weakness. Okay, there is a Guzma. So we still got it. We can't knock him out though, so never mind. Probably just gonna attach the rainbow, alter the moon, and just knock him out. However, I am tempted to knock out one of the Inkays though, in all honesty. If he doesn't get two Malamars, I might knock out one of the Inkays. I am curious to see what he's going to build up. I also, if I'm going to go Hoopa for a bit, I'm going to have to try not to play too many GXs now. So, that's also something to keep in mind, is I don't want to do that. So, wow, he's what, he's building up Dawn Wings? Okay. Oh, shoot, sorry guys, I did not mean to make that loud noise. We drew a choice ban, alright, nice. Honestly, though, I still think knocking him out with Super Sai, or maybe just swinging with Super Sai will look better here. Honestly, I think it is. I don't know though, I really don't want to put Altar down. Nah, I think we just Guzma here. I think, yeah, I think we Guzma. I really, I didn't want to put the Altar down, like, he gets free retreat, he could always attack me with Psychic Spear, and then I can't one-shot the Malamar. So it's probably best to do this. Alright, Frogadier, okay. We got Float finally, that would have been nice last turn. We'll see what Hoopa can do. Hopefully Hoopa can do some damage, is hopefully what I'm hoping for. That was a long sentence. Alright, so. Let's see. Still bringing up the alternate Crosma, which is fine. He still it might have Guzma, but as long as I don't play too many Jexes down, we're okay. He does have B-String. Not mattering too much, though. And before, he's playing a 1-1 Garbotoxin line, just because, you know, Hoop is such a big threat in the format, Kappa Claws. Okay, building up the bench tells me he's playing Guzma this turn, and he's going to knock out my Tapu Lele, which, I mean, I am fine with. Lele is fine to be KO'd. It looks like he's doing that. He's just full-on loading it up. He could knock out Frogadier, but it's probably better to knock out Lele, because this thing is just putting so much pressure on you. Yep, so he's going to knock out Lele? No, he is actually going to knock out Frogadier. I was right. Now, this is an interesting play for my opponent, but it's fine. Now, I might actually put 20 damage on this Malamar, just so I could knock it out with Super Cybel when the time arises. I think I'm going to do that. So, I don't know why he didn't knock out the, um... Yeah, I don't know why he didn't knock out Lele Ticket Prizes, but I'm fine with that. Uh, we'll play Floatstone, probably on, I guess, Lele. It's kind of developing. We'll play Cynthia. I'm not looking for much here. I guess energy works. Put another Froakie down. I might put Dark Energy on you. Just... I guess we can load you up. I don't want to put too much energy on him, though. And, yeah, we'll just super side bolt for 110. No Guzmas! I was hoping we could find one of our Guzmas here, so when he tries to retreat, we can knock it out. Let's see. I honestly don't think he's playing any real way to deal with Hoopa other than, like, I guess, Malamar. But that's not, not cutting it. The only thing he can do is Guzma, but again, as long as I control my bench size, or what I put on my bench in general, it's like, he can't do that. Though, it's gonna come to a point where I do have to, you know, keep Hoopa off the... You know, I, I mean, he's gonna knock out Hoopa eventually, probably. So, I'm gonna have to get ready for that. But again, we can one-shot his Malamars here with Super Cybolt and Frogadier, or a Greninja combo. We do have to find our Stretcher, though, to get those back. Let's see what he does. He'd have to retreat this uh, Necrozma to be able to even do 40 damage to me. And again, I do play Super Scoop Up, so even if you do that, I'm still possibly going to recover my Hoopa. I guess I just find then to build up Evolto, because if he does somehow, I guess, knock me out, we can always just Darkness Blade knock him out in the turn. So we'll see if how this pans out. He's going to do a Sycamore. Okay. Looks like he attached to the Ultra Necrozma on the bench. Either that or he Malamar did. Field blower. Okay, that kind of sucks, but um, as, as long as we really do 110 to him. Plus, again, if we really need to put damage on him, we have Greninja's and Frog Gears. Another Inkay going down. 
Max Elixir 2. He could Tapu Cure, actually. That would be a really hilarious play, and that would actually be a little annoying. I think this thing's stranded in the active, though. Because we had that choice ban, this thing's gonna get knocked out. I'm pretty sure it's stranded in the active. Oh no, he's gotta have a Floatstone. He's gotta have Floatstone here. Are you stranded, or do you have the Float? No, he's stranded, so we knock him out. Beautiful. And yeah, we'll probably just do Cynthia. Looking probably for Greninja, just so we can evolve this thing, keep it safe. Probably get rid of N and Yvald Paul. Fine. Put down Greninja. Greninja could also get knocked out by Necrozma, very possibly. But I'm going to put it against that. Don't think it matters. I think we still put damage on these Malamars. I could have maybe hit him for 30 and then, I don't know, try and set up a play where I knocked it out with Shadow Hunter. It's fine. Ooh, look at that. Okay, that's actually bad because we have to dump the Greninja. But we do have Frogadier. I could always hold the hand though, too. Not a big deal. Let's see if he has that Guzma KO on my um, Greninja. Oh, he does. I hate when they all... Oh, my... That's annoying. He has the knockout on Greninja. That's... That's just awesome. So he's going to do Super Odd. Again, I don't know. I mean, we have two prizes left. Not looking good for my opponent. I might even just put damage on Lele and just use that as a way to knock it out. Because he can't Tapu Cure himself. Oh, he's actually going to build a Malamar now. Okay. Again, we put damage on it. So we can get KO'd by Super Cy Bolt. He has to do two Malamars to knock me out. And that's not enough to save you. I'm really hoping he does not have Guzma, though. He's, the fact that he's building up Malamar, and I think he put 200 on I can't see. He put two, oh, okay, so he's going to build up Malamar. So he's not going to Guzma knock a Greninja? No, he's not. Okay, good. Again, two prizes to five. Hoopa's still in the active. We knock out his only real attacker. And ooh, he has to evolve a Malamar that he does have no damage on. That's probably the one he wanted to go with. Though we do have Frog here, so it's not like he would have saved him. But in my opponent's head, it's like, ah, oh, dang it. He concedes. He concedes. Okay, Hoopa was a great addition to this deck. At first, I was... But it was good. And I think I'm going to wrap today's video here, guys, with those games. We showed off how this deck works, how it functions. Dark Greninja. I like the deck personally. I think it's a fun deck to play. And it technically is Yveltal EX's last hurrah in standard. No one's really playing this card anymore in standard. And expanded, maybe. Yveltal's okay, but not really. But overall, this was a fun deck to showcase. I do like it. If I were to make any changes, though, I may remove the Altar of the Moons. I, I don't know, like... It depends if you want to run them or not. They do benefit those Malamar matchups, which could be a big issue. And then you don't have a good stadium. Like, Parallel City isn't bad, but again, your uh, Greninjas do less damage. But anyways, thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe to help me the road to 3k subscribers. If you are new to the channel and not already subscribed, make sure to hit that sub button. I'll see you guys in another PDCGO video. Peace out. Have a good day.